Hey everybody, it's Mark, Dr. Deadwax. It's time for another video. I'm going to do a response to Mike Bostonian Reggie's typography thread. Ready, Mike? I know you said every time you hear that sound, it makes you thirsty, so grab a beer. I really like the idea for this thread. Um, and, you know, I don't get a chance to say this very often, but I really like your channel, Mike. always have... I watch most of your videos. I like your musical journey and the fact you do it without attitude. Um, a cascade for you. Anyway, let's get down to this. Um, Fred showed this already, but I wanted to show it because I have the, the box. But here's like the whole in rainbows. It's all kind of the whole thing is about text, which I think is great. And I've really tried to only pull out things that are pretty well text-based and are very um, have very little to do with um, an image per se unless uh, it's it's a very subtle thing like like this for example uh, Mogwai special moves so I mean it, it's it's some sort of grainy photograph that looks like a stage image but you know basically this is about the text and uh, you know, it's simple, it's stark, it, it's what it is. Um, next, made in England, made in Sweden. Uh, Swedish Prague Fusion Gem. Got that off the um, Cheers. Uh, new order, Confusion 93. So this kind of, I think this is a remix of Confusion from earlier in the career. And uh, this is kind of picking up on uh, Peter Saville's Saville's um, Blue Monday package in, in a little, in a way. Um, next is another Fred show, but I had to show it because I'd already pulled it. Uh, the police ghost in the machine. This one's a little bit busier with all the super disc stuff, but uh, just a simple image. Supposedly, these are each of the band members. That's what I, that's what we were led to believe when I was a kid. Um, back when that record came out, King Crimson, Starless, and Bible Black. You know, it's just a stencil kind of spray painted almost image really plain really simple white background just plain striking um here's madman across the water i mean this is very iconic this is lettering that's like embroidery um supposedly this is really an embroidered thing that was made for the cover and this one's kind of busy with the stereo because the UK one is a lot cleaner and a lot cleaner on the back with the uh, uni stuff and the RRA on the North American one and the UK one is just a lot simpler. It's just plain text, but I mean that's that's about as like iconic as. Uh, anything text-based and just a fantastic album. Um, Mothers, just some some scrawl on a white sheet of paper. A little bit of a reprise logo and a catalog number, but you know, on the back cover, it's just like uh, just notes. Um, here's one that's Plain, simple, but has a bit of a, hey look, there's like some, what do they call that, rasterization going on there, but uh, um, Faust, uh, this is Munich and elsewhere. Uh, that's really cool the way that it keeps rastering, but anyway that. This one's 
I wanted to pick one of these. This is, in my opinion, the one that was least um, image-based and, and more um, font-based. And uh, I mean, there's nothing. It might be the my most iconic band name. Is that is that Yes logo there? Um, so this is just like a green to black background. So that's why I picked this one. All the other ones have much more um, detailed Roger Dean artwork. So, but I mean that's. I think the band should have kept that logo forever. They, they, they went to a Peter Max one at one time, but uh, and that's just classic. Yes. Uh, this Australian new wave kind of indie new wave, big pig bonk. A little bit of the jazz rock here. This is Steely Dan Aja. If, you, if I cut off the MoFi thing at the top, I, I, even though there's like a a bit of a, an image on this, it's interesting how the Aja is red and the Steely Dan's white, and it ties into that uh, red and white stripe of the image. Uh, can it be more text-based than a newspaper? This is uh, thick as brick. Uh, this is a newspaper edition. Um, I think she might be showing us her panties there. I'm not sure if that was ever censored, but uh, so that one's pretty text-based. Here's one that's uh, a Canadian classic. Uh, this is the first cover FM directed or FM Black Noise. Uh, this was a uh, pressed by the CBC. Um, so it's a lot simpler. And I just showed this one to show that even when they went to a uh, commercial release, they, they kept a very similar FM logo and they kept that logo throughout most of their career, but they did play on it a little bit. Uh, where are we? Seven minutes. I'm going to try and keep this to ten. Uh, from Genesis to Revelation Genesis. This is the first one when they were just still kids at, uh, at, at uh, English, what do they call those schools? Preparatory schools? Or? Uh, this has been repacked in a thousand packages, but this is probably the latest one. This is a fantastic record and uh, amazing on, on a nice system. Uh, LKJ and Dub. And uh, And, you know, that says it all. Uh, Rush, self-titled. This is uh, first pressing on Moon. And uh, if you, this is orange on the Moon and pink on all the others. So um, This copy's trash. So it's, not, it's an interesting grail to have, but it's... <laughs> It's not worth the 400 bucks that it could be. Uh, something a little bit more modern. Pearl Jam, Vitalogy. This I showed this. This is sealed. I'm selling this. Um, but uh, yeah, just a plain kind of almost uh, book design, and uh, just the font. Yeah. How about Lenny? It's been a long time since I've shown a Lenny. This is Lenny. This is a Lenny. This is uh, Bob Seger smoking LPs on uh, Paladin. That's pretty well text based, uh, based I think on a Lucky Strike cigarette pack. Uh, I mean, this is uh, Black Sabbath, Master of Reality. This is uh, all the other shit in Blake's, but so this is the first Canadian on a. Uh, Olive Green Warner. It's got the uh, embossed cover. And, and this is such an iconic text-based image that other bands have uh, have lifted it and used it. And um, sometimes, you know, it's not about, you know, forget the artwork, but that's a very specific text. And as you can see, it was something the band kept. That's the first record. I think that one's sec 
uh, more the next in line, not chronological. I think there's one missing, and then uh, I think that was the most recent. So, but you know that's a pretty important bit of text for this band um, or font for this band. So anyway, that's ten minutes. Um, I'll stop there. I've got another stack back here. I'll show that one. That one's all jazz and uh, there's kind of a different bent on the jazz stuff. So cheers, Mike.